There is a misconception, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, that odometer fraud disappeared when car manufacturers went digital. But new data shows that is not the case, including right here in Columbus. In tonight's Better Call 4, I got a look at how it's being done and what you can do to make sure it doesn't cost you more down the road. It's a new twist on a used car scam. Odometer fraud has been around. Most people think it kind of went out with the analog odometers, and that couldn't be further from the truth. We have still seen this issue prevail with digital odometers. Emily Voss is a used car expert with Carfax and says new data from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration estimates more than 450,000 used vehicles with rolled back odometers are sold each year in the U.S., including right here in the Buckeye State. Ohio is ranked number nine nationwide when we look at the states with the most rolled back odometers. It's a tactic scammers use, Voss says, to make a high mileage vehicle look like it's been driven a lot less. And in turn, it ends up costing you a lot more. Because a vehicle that has 85,000 miles on it is going to have a very different maintenance schedule as far as repairs and replacements than a vehicle that has 265,000 miles on it. And how does the scam work? Owner of Atlanta Speedometer, Josh Engel, gave me a demonstration and without revealing too much, changed the odometer in a 2007 Chevy Silverado with more than 265,000 miles in a matter of seconds. You're going to see it change to 85,000 miles. Uh, there you go. Just that quickly, Engel says, the value of that truck jumps from just over $14,000 to nearly $23,000, and the scammer will be the one to bank the extra bucks. That's why Voss says anyone buying a used car should do their homework. She recommends taking a used car you're interested in buying to a trusted mechanic. A mechanic has that trained eye. They're going to see things that you or I couldn't see as far as being able to spot maybe advanced signs of wear that don't match up with that odometer reading. If things seem to be too good to be true, we always say it probably is. According to the NHTSA, digital odometers that have been tampered with are harder to detect than traditional mechanical odometers because they have no visible movement moving parts, but it is possible. And once someone who has rolled back an odometer profits from it, that is a federal offense and should be reported to law enforcement immediately. Now for more helpful consumer information, or if you need help and feel like you aren't being heard, you better call four at 614-212-4444. You can also visit our website, NBC4i.com slash better call four, and be sure to tune in every Tuesday and Thursday evening at 545 to watch better call four.